You're driving me away. Did you, wait, wait, are we live? Go live. Uh, go live, go live, go live, go live. Okay, we should be live. Okay, let me get this going. Let me get the stream going. You're here for the Elden Ring. Let's not disappoint. Let's get this Elden Ring going. Oh, I think I have the... Should be doubled right now. Turn that off. Okay, it should be better. Should be better. Should be better. Let's get that Elden Ring. Okay, okay. Streams coming together. Wouldn't think it would be so hard since we just had a stream going, but I assure you, streaming is the hardest job in the world. You just don't know. You just don't know. Okay, let's get Elden Ring on the screen. Elden Ring? Okay! We're close, we're close, we're close. Let's just use the D-pad. Alright, now Elden Ring is probably too loud. That's the next thing we should deal with. But I have a new little a new little widget on the uh, whatever you call this thing. The stream deck. And I should be able to edit the volume right here? Question mark? Dude, it worked. It worked. How cool is that? Okay, feels good. Feels good. Okay. We are almost all set up. Let me hit a little... Little clown horn. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Alright, what's up, chat? Um... What are we going to game as? So why is it forcing me to use the D-pad here? So I'm getting ready for the, the DLC that's coming out. What kind of character do we think we're going to take into the DLC? I have never played... Oh, this class is just called Prophet? <sighs> Dang. <laughs> that's pretty tempting. That's pretty tempting. I didn't know there was just a class straight up called Prophet. Samurai. Wait, I kind of want to be a samurai. Prisoner. That's pretty base as well. Confessor. Wretch. Can't show that much skin on YouTube. Imagine if I could dye these robes purple. I'd be. Just, oh. okay. 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 Um. Chad Wretch. Is this the level one character? I assume that's how it works. Probably the level one character. <laughs> let's let's do profit. Type A or type B. Is that man or woman? Obviously a masculine fellow. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna cosplay. We're gonna cosplay me as if this was me from the temple. As as a youth. Age. Okay, what what age am I? Mature? No. Thank god, I think I'm still young. Origin profit keepsake. Um Oh, and Sacred Flasks. That sounds pretty good. I don't remember what any of this stuff does. I think we're going to go with Golden Seed. Choose base template cheese. He's seen better days. Let's 1v1 in Elden Ring. It's easy to go to your PS3. It's really not. I don't have my PS3. Um, Choose base template. Okay. These are all kind of terrible. We'll start with Warrior, and then we'll go Detailed Appearance for skin color. Um, pretty pale. I'm allergic to the sun, after all. Man, there's a lot of options. I can just be pure white? <laughs> That's kind of cool. No pigment, man. Let's, let's go with... um. Jeez, there's so many colors. What the hell? 
Is this red? I can't tell. We're going to go with that. Okay. I don't even think I'm going to mess with the face. Let's just choose the hair. Hair 10. Okay, what's what's closest to... Um... You do this, I guess. I doubt, I doubt they're going to have long curly hair as an option. <laughs> uh, I could have this hairstyle, sort of. Yeah, long curly hair is not an option. Um, no. Terrible. I'm just not represented. I must have like a hell of a forehead. Let's let's go with this. I've looked like this before in the past. Your color. Um. I don't know. Is there like a brown with some red? I'm colorblind. I can't do this. Who cares? We never look at our character anyway. It does not matter. It does not matter. It does not matter. Um. My iris color. Okay. Where's your darkest green? Outing? Dude, there are so many. Right, where's left iris color? Here it is. Match right eye. Okay, it just matches. It matches. It matches. It matches. The ginger experience. <laughs> Let's. We'll just leave this face. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Uh, I think this is good enough. What do you guys think? I'm guessing this is a faith-based build, which I've never done before, so we might as well try it out. <sighs> Alright. Who's ready to start the journey, chat? Also, you'll have to tell me if the volume is good. The fallen leaves tell a story. Should we even watch the story? Cool thing about all from software games is the story does not matter at all. So we can skip everything without any consequences. Great Elden Ring was shattered. I'll just buy Hotline Miami on PS4. Don't you have that game? In our home. Let me invade you. Alright, you can come invade me. Come find me. And we're skipping the story. So I will I will confess. Back in Dark Souls 1, I actually, I cared about the story quite a bit. I thought that the Dark Souls lore was really interesting. And then progressively, with each game, I have cared less and less. And when it got to Elden Ring, I was like, I don't give a shit about the story. Still no lover, so to speak, why is it always sadness? First off, don't think. Tarnished wizened finger. Okay. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Let's take a look at our... I think I forgot how to navigate this stuff. Wait, screenshot save. What the... Okay, so we have... Short Spear, Finger Seal, Prophet Blindfold, Prophet Robe, Prophet Trousers, Rickety Shield, and do we have any sort of casting ability? Of Heal and Catch Flame. Okay. That's kind of cool. By Elden Ring and invade you. Chapel of Anticipation. Alright, it's gonna take me a while to get used to the controls again. Okay. Are you maidenless? I think everyone who plays this game is maidenless. No lie. If you have played Elden Ring, you have just not touched a woman. I think that's a fact. Is Elden Ring even on sale? I doubt it. I don't think there's a Steam sale going on right now. Alright, so this is the obligatory you must lose for this boss. He's smaller than I remember. Let's test out our heal. Let's see how good our heal is. That's actually that's not that bad. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. Let's just get it over with. Elon Musk would recommend. He has 11 kids, so maybe not everyone. Yeah, you're kind of right, actually. I forgot. Elon Musk claimed that this was the highest form of artistic expression in video games. And he's a billionaire, so he must be right. Right? And he has a lot of kids. Like, sort of a weird number of kids. Okay, we got Flask of Crimson Tears, Flask of Cerulean Tears, which are to heal our MP and HP respectfully, or respectively. Wave Tarnish, take the plunge. Learning Remembrance. Okay. Let's take the plunge. And let me know about the volume, because I'm still not sure. I've had to change a lot of settings with the mic and the, uh... Okay, Sights of Grace, I remember. Touch Grace. Not the same as Touch Grace. <sighs> Wait, why didn't I get full HP from that? First death of many, true. Do it. How do we two-hand in this game? You used to be pressing triangle, whatever. Why? Sorceries and incantations. Okay, you can memorize sorceries at sites of grace. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations. Okay, cool, cool. So we press up the switch. John. We have a shield we can guard. Okay, dodge roll or backstep, which no one ever uses. Be honest, who has backstepped in Elden Ring or Dark Souls? I feel like you never, ever, ever use it except to do that move. And even then, only in multiplayer. I feel like you never use it in the actual game. Being fired at from above. Wielding armaments. Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments, allowing you to toggle between them. Okay. No. Y plus LB or RBs. Okay, okay, cool. So we do that, we're two handing. Yes. He's trying to be a little shield boy. You don't take kind of the shield boys around here. Alright. Did this game come out during the during the global event? Because I feel like I have strong memories of playing this like 24 hours in a row practically. <laughs> Whenever you do something and you like don't take a break from it, I feel like it doesn't form a strong memory. So like this game, I played, I beat the whole game, but I beat it in like three days. And I really haven't played it since then. And I feel like I have virtually no memory because I did it all in like this one big boost. Okay, we can do skills with LT. Skill is Mega Thrust. Crouching. Yeah, this is this is already crazy. Like I don't remember this mechanic at all. Can't believe there's stealth. <laughs> Who's the hardest boss? I feel like it's <laughs> isn't it the same as everyone? <laughs> Freaking millennia. She's disgusting. What I do distinctly remember is I beat Malaketh, the Black Blade, on my first try. It was really fun. Stance breaking. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy. Okay. Cool. Oh. 
This game is so easy. Skill issue, Commander O'Neill. I think I remember that guy. Do you fight him like on a fort? And like he has like a teleporting guy fighting with him at the same time or something? There's so many bosses in this game, I feel like I do remember. I do remember him. Alright, Soldier of Godric. Guard counters. RT immediately left to block an attack. Guard counters. I don't remember that. My attack was cooler. Alright, well. First boss down, guys. Yeah, he summons two knights. I do remember that. Isn't one of those knights um, a summon that you can get? Like, I remember using one of those... What are they called? Tears or something? I think his name was Oleg. And I remember using Oleg quite a bit. He was really funny. What stats did the Prophet focus on? I don't know. I've never played this class. I'm assuming we're a faith build. Which I've never played in this game. Is Faith actually like a viable build? Okay. Now, if I recall, and since I was just saying I barely remember anything, I think we can we can go through these. Oh yeah, okay, no, okay. If we had started with the item that you use for these things, we could go in here. And there's like a boss you can fight really early on. There's no way I'm skilled enough. Proper okay. multiplayer, cool. Finger severer and tarnished scrolled finger. All right, let's go get our horse. What's the horse's name? Torrent. I think it's Torrent. I remember that because I had the suspicion that they named the horse that specifically to obscure. If you're trying to pirate the game. You would, you know, search for Elden Ring Torrent or something. And then it's like, oh, the horse? Okay. Grace exists to guide the Tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. The map. Use the map to check your current position. Cool. cool, cool, cool. It's all coming back. It's all coming back. This is the guy that calls his maidenless, I believe. Oh yes. Tarnish, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, <laughs> you are maidenless. You're maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation mm -hmm. to the round table home. Oh, there's the golden century, whatever that dude's name is. I think he drops a really cool item if you're able to kill him. To die in obscurity. Actually, I want this guy's mask. I feel like that could be an important part of the Prophet cosplay. Imagine if you could like die items in this game. I could get this mask, die purple. Boom, Luckily we're halfway there. You, however, me. Are you familiar? You may also that. Hmm. It will right, be right. even if the hardest boss in Elden Ring. I think it's just millennia. I really feel like there's not. Like what? What variation are you gonna get in that answer? Has to be her. She's so hard. It's like not even fun. Summoning pools. They find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning sounds created with small entities gathered. Summoning pools. Cool. So this is where I go to summon people, I suppose. Let's turn up the spoken word dialogue. Yeah. Looks good. Forgot there's, there's materials. In every corner of the lands between, you will find fruits, flowers, mushrooms, butterflies, and various other useful materials. I... This is one of the things that I hated about Elden Ring. I don't know why you'd ever introduce crafting. So I think crafting... It can be done as a mechanic. I think there are very few games that do crafting successfully. And in games like this, it just feels like a complete afterthought. Oh, that's a 
solid hit. That's a hefty hit. <laughs> I guess we could probably focus on dexterity and fate. I mean, I guess we can. I don't have anything in mind. I don't think I've done a dexterity build. What goes best with faith? And is faith viable for offensive spells? Like, does faith have anything for offense? Early game? Um, okay, flash charges. Should we just keep it at 3 1? fight have to get to round table. I don't think I've ever done the, the Coliseum in this game. Let's just let's just ignore this guy. Wait, I need my I need my runes. Church of Ella. Oh no. Oh no, you can follow you in here? I don't know if that was a safe zone. I remember this is sort of an important place because if you hear a knight, isn't this where you find Ronnie for the first time? Bro, I don't have my I don't have my horse! This is not fair! fight this guy in horse to horse combat with no horse. Alright, let's activate this. At least we got that Okay, I see a dude over here. Let's see what he wants. He's also hostile. As is most everything in this world. <laughs> Let's see if he diagros. No? Yes? Okay, he's diagroed. I think we're fine. We're in a good situation. You know, I'm not a fan of the spear, I don't think. Or maybe the spear would be okay if we had a shield. I think one of the advantages of spears in Souls games is that you can use it from behind your shield, or at least you could in the other Souls games. So I'm sort of guessing that has stayed consistent. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what weapon I used. I think I used a scythe in my first playthrough. So maybe I did play dexterity. Because scythes are typically a dex weapon, right? I like how people retire from YouTube usually say, I've done enough videos. Huh. Yeah, I've already... I don't know. I've seen channels where they get like super lucky and their first video gets a million views. <laughs> I feel like if you're on the normal YouTube grind, you're going to you're going to make quite a few videos before you're again to that retiring point. All right, is it nighttime? No, it's just rain. I get called an industry plant. It's true. I like unironically believe that about a lot of channels. I'm starting to have my suspicions about YouTube success in general. Like, have you guys heard about YouTube management companies where they... I don't exactly know what managers do for you. But there are a lot of people... There are a lot of people who might think are like just original YouTube channels, but they're actually managed by someone. Like Asmund Gold, 
he's managed by, I think, like, the same company that manages a bunch of people in OTK. And what exactly those companies do, I don't understand. I wonder if management companies have some sort of deal with YouTube. Where they're just like, okay, we find the talent, you give us free impressions. And then we create revenue for you, right? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm kind of I'm going conspiracy theory with it, but... Something about YouTube doesn't feel completely organic to me. Ah! You dang it. YouTube sucks recommending small channels. Yeah, it kind of does. Like, it'll give you a few impressions here and there, but in order for a video to get views, YouTube basically just decides it's going to get views. Because the search function of YouTube basically doesn't work. The only way you're going to watch a video is if YouTube shows you the thumbnail. And YouTube decides when they show you the thumbnail, right? So your video cannot get views unless YouTube decides. And how YouTube decides, that's a big question mark. Nobody really knows. Get me gone. But it's like, if my videos got as many impressions as channels, like big channels did. I'm pretty sure I would get lots of views too. <laughs> like if you're showing, have you ever had that happen where you see the same thumbnail for a video appear like a million times and you're just like, I'm not clicking on this YouTube. I don't care. If YouTube was that aggressive with my videos, I bet people would watch them, but I don't, I don't think they are. The question is how, how do you get that to happen? How do you get that to happen? Go to the movie? Alright, see ya. Enjoy Ghostbusters, Frozen him. Just from the trailers alone, that movie does look better. I've been getting obscure channel recommendations? Okay. Maybe it's just like, it noticed you're watching my channel, and it's like, oh, do you want other small YouTube channels? I'm gonna post a Red Dead Redemption full long play. Hey, when I get repeats, you've already watched it. It'll show you the thumbnails for things you've already watched. Yeah, that's 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 the algorithm not doing its job. It does that a lot with uh, Mr. Beast videos for me, because you know I've clicked on the odd Mr. Beast video here and there, right? But sometimes it'll just show me a Mr. Beast thumbnail like twenty times. That one, that one's like a little more understandable because his videos probably get some of the highest views on the platform, right? So the algorithm is pretty aggressive with showing them around. So it's it's guaranteed views for somebody. You just get recommended random video essays and you click anything. Let's see, if only YouTube were made up of a bunch of people like you. Then we would just give views on everything. One of the things I don't like about YouTube is YouTube is a video content site, right? But one of the main ways you get views is with a single still image. And I mean, it's not like they're completely incomparable, but I think it's strange that you have a product and you're advertising your product with a different kind of medium, like a single still image for your, your video. And some of us aren't good at making thumbnails, like me. I don't, I don't know what makes a good thumbnail. It seems completely random what people click onto me. And then sometimes I think I'm like, oh yeah, this, this is a good thumbnail. And then it'll be like the least viewed or the least click thumbnail I've ever made. And it's just like, okay, I guess I, I don't. up corrupted hit the voice down my jam I leave yeah it's kind of sad because it's true and you can't do anything about your voice so it's like not nice but some people have super annoying voices and I'm just like bro I wish I could watch your content because I'm interested in it but voice is too annoying 
This guy's got fancy armor. I think he's tougher than the, the rest of the bunch. YouTube recommended the videos I watched to their people. All the videos would be 12 hours long. <laughs> I have seen those like crazy videos where it's like name something kind of cheeky. Where it's like a brief analysis of Star Wars The Phantom Menace and then it's a 12 hour video. Keep in mind, Star Wars The Phantom Menace I think is only two hours. So a 12 hour ana analysis is... That's, that's quite sturdy. It's, it's quite thick. Yeah, my spear's not that long, apparently. Maybe I should use uh, my spells. I'm gonna heal myself here, and then really flame. Catch flame. Catch flame. I think this is borderline melee for spells. It's also borderline useless. Oh, actually, that wasn't that was not that bad. Let's go! Catch flame, idiot. You can get past it if the content's great. Most of the time I just start. Yeah. There's quite a few creators. To be honest, I always found Matt Pat's voice kind of annoying. But it apparently did not. Damage his career whatsoever. He had probably one of the best YouTube careers on the platform. I love those memes where it's like Matt Pat. It's like Matt Pat retires after whatever fifteen years YouTube. Didn't touch a child a single time. It's just that easy. <laughs> the YouTubers, uh, YouTubers have a little little problem with that. Oh, that's a one-shot? I'm gonna go shower because it's hot in Brazil. Isn't it always? Okay, I think we've finally cleared out this camp, mostly. Drink the cerulean tears. I'll drink my crimson tears. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Thank goodness, I thought I was the only one thinking that bad at someone annoying. Yeah, it's it's not the worst. But it is not what I would consider making a career out of, right? But you know what? He went and did it. Which I think is actually sort of a positive message. It's like, if you have content people like, you can make it work, even with a somewhat annoying voice. Where'd this guy come from? Huh? Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number and type of flasks to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. Really? I did not remember this mechanic. Cool. Alright, now I think this is where... Isn't this where the, the girl shows up? Yes? Question mark? Not so maidenless anymore. Ah. Let me get my gamer sip here. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Melina? That's how you say it? Dude, I feel like this girl was supposed to be crucial to the story, right? Because the, the ending involves her. And the beginning involves her. But you really only see her like two times in the entire game. I offer you an accord. She's like the fakest plot point. Like, I think they kind of showed her a bunch of the trailers too. 
Like she was going to be this big, this big deal. But she's, she's just not. Refuse. Yet I'm summon me by. We're going to continue mating this. <clears throat> okay, let's, um... Shoot, how do you fast travel? Let's go here. And talk to Rainy. Because it's night right now. I think she shows up. she outside or maybe there's some other condition if you're gonna have an important character actually have them interact with the player a few times yeah it's not something that from software is exactly good at so strengthening armaments at smithing tables you can spend runes smithing stones to strengthen your armaments cool smithing stone you're a tarnished I can see it, but I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase it? I am Carly. <laughs> what do we need here? We should probably get a telescope. It's always good to have. Note. Ask of wondrous physic. Hmm. Are torches important in this game? I don't actually remember. Goodbye for now. All right, let's actually let's talk to Melina. I need the horse. I think that's how you get the horse. Have you reconsidered? Then it set summon me. Ah, I bequeath you this ring, spectral steed whistle. That's what I want. That's what it's all about, baby. Let's level Shall up. I let my hand share them with me? Okay, should we go for a full faith build? Your Just ambitions. completely gamble on it. The principles you would How do we sum? Okay, from pouch, equip six items. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um wait, how do we do it? Shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, special speed whistle. Um, how do I equip this to my my pouch? Where's my pouch? Uh, dang it! Should have actually read that instead of just skipping over it. Inventory. Equipment. Shoot. Okay, so you do. Hold Y and press something. Are there gyms in Alaska? <laughs> oh wait, pouches over here. Okay, thank God. Um, let's see what on the left. All right, we got torrent. Check your spear to see what it scales with. I don't think I'm going to be using this spear for much longer. I don't really care for it. it scales with Dex and strength. I think they're... Okay, that gets off. There is a weapon you can get pretty early on that skills with Dex Faith. I think it's the Winged Scythe. I'm pretty sure I used it last time I played. Hmm. Oh, you just fought bears for exercise. I think the bears in Alaska are, are beyond the size you actually want to fight. Like, don't get me wrong. Black bears, kind of a pushover. I could fight a black bear. But, I think you've got some bigger bears in Alaska. Once we're in grizzly bear territory, no way. No way. I forgot the horse could double jump. Of all creatures, why is the horse able to double jump? Also, why no why no horse armor for Torrent? Or Torrent is unprotected. 
I can easily win a fight with a raccoon? True, but you're not coming out unscathed. You definitely get some scratches. A feisty little creature. Someone's calling my name. I think I remember this guy. You? Yeah, you there. You there. Stop pretending you can't see. Stop pretending you can't see. Is this guy Irish? Ow. Why won't anyone look me in the eye? I'm 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 in the middle of horse combat. I'm sorry, strange Irish man. Also, look how pretty the sky is right now. Okay. I, I, I need to get off this creature. Oh, oh, oh I'm alive! I'm alive! I actually drank the wrong kind of potion. I set this horse on fire. Just gonna die. Okay. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Etch flame, idiot. Seal myself. <laughs> woo, woo! All right, let's find this guy. He's like. You there. Help us out, Cully. Help us out, Cully. That kind of sounds like a slur, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know if you should say Cully. Can't be certain of the origin of that. You? Yeah, you there. Stop pretending you can't see me. Is he this tree? He's transmogrified or something? Oh, why won't anyone look me in the eye? Oh, maybe, I'm, maybe he's I'm not that ugly, am I? There we go. What'd you go and do that for? Oh, he's like a little rat. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. I remember. Some <laughs> clod turned me into a tree. I hate when that you happens. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. Bok. And I ended up as a tree. Okay. Lucky you. Okay, we save Bok. He's permanently indebted to us. What a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. Okay. This is all I have to express my thanks. Okay. I hope you can forgive me. Mushroom. I mean, that's not bad. Well, if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some... No need, Buck. No need. He looks okay. Who told him? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure this guy's winning any, winning any beauty pageants. I wonder what sort of creature he is. I always wonder what species these things in Elden Ring are. Or all these games. Is he a cursed human, or is he some, some sort of evolutionary rat that's that's just turned into some a, a, a bipedal creature? I think it has a tail. Yeah. Maybe this is a possum. This is a possum that's evolved for a couple million years. I'm sure he's very handsome for his species, whatever that is. Demi-human? Looks like a primate? Maybe? So what's the classification rules? Monkeys have tails. Apes do not. So he would be... Either a monkey or... What's the creature that... Do baboons have tails? I don't think they do. What's a mandrill? Is that its own species or is it like a subspecies of something else? I think mandrills are like baboons, but they have like horrid, horrid sharp teeth that would just shred people up with. There's a lot of creatures on this earth that are... <laughs> I wouldn't really want to be in a fight with. Despite their size. Having teeth is just such an advantage.
if it doesn't have a tail, it's not a monkey, even if it has a monkey kind of shape. No, it's true. Monkeys are specifically... Like, often we think of apes and monkeys as the same thing, but it's not true. Monkeys have tails. Apes do not have tails. Question if you were to have five mods, who would they be? Don't, don't, I've never thought about it. if I had specifically five mods. <laughs> uh. Let's see what's going on here. Thought they might have been friendly. Silly of me to assume. Oh, it's our first Black Knight. I don't think I can fight this guy at this point in time. Let's see how much HP he has. No, it's not happening. <laughs> oh, is there still that that Dark Knight you can you can kill by having the bridge despawn? I can't remember where he is. He's like way later, way further in the continent. Okay. What's up, boys? Don't mind me. I don't want to break up the procession. What's our What's our first real goal in Elden Ring? Are we just trying to kill Margot or Margot? I can't remember what his name is. Me five times. I like that answer. That's a, that's a very confident answer. Confidence is key. It's just like those alpha male YouTubers say. You just gotta be confident, bro. Oh, isn't there a dragon here? You know, now that I'm playing it, I'm remembering a lot of stuff. Like, I think in the basement of this place, there's a trapped treasure chest that can teleport you like an insane distance away from the... God damn it. Oh! Whatever, I only had 969 runes. Um, let's do stake of Mark. Maybe that's closer. Let's fight after I get back from the gym. Okay. I don't know if I'll still be- I don't know if I'll still be streaming. We'll see, we'll see. Who would win me or Doom? Well, probably you, because you have like a real build. I don't have anything. I have a spear. Oh, no, there's two! There's two of them! That's not fair. Shaggy dog is ganging up on me. Shoot. It's, too, it's too agile. It's too fast. All right. Um, I want to use my catch flame. Yes. Let's go. Okay. So catch flame is actually pretty strong if you can hit with it. It's just hitting with it. Uh, let's use heal. We've got it. Might as well use it. If it was me five times, everyone getting timeouts and accidentally from random sleeping on keyboard moments. Yeah, true. Is it actually that easy to just, like, ban someone by sweeping the keyboard? I don't think I've ever used a moderation feature on YouTube, so I don't know how it works. But Apparently, it's very easy to just accidentally ban someone. Where were my runes? Do they appear on the map? I think that's them. Zoomed in as far as possible. As well acquire. Okay. Try mod functions, your mod on my channel. Just like, I don't really ever see a reason to use them most of the time. Oh, no, I want my runes! Oh, my runes! Drink, drink, please. Like, I'm pretty sure YouTube just, like, auto-mods most of the stuff that I would delete anyway. Damn it. 
to use Catch Flame. It didn't kill it! Ugh. Okay. Let's heal. Alright, maybe being a prophet's not so bad. I actually don't mind having this heal. The Catch Flame is pretty good. I'll fight you with my Crusader character. He's level 43. Do levels get normalized when you fight online? Also, I think I remember making a Crusader character once. Not in Elden Ring, but one of the other Souls games. I also tried doing the Three Musketeers. And, you know, the Three Musketeers are... Um, Athos, Porthos, and Dart... Or, um, Ariamis, I think? I always forget the third one. And then D'Artagnan's like the fourth Musketeer. So I was, I was playing with friends... And we couldn't use the names because something in them was like getting filtered by the the profanity filter. I don't think you could do any of their names. I was so disappointed. It's like from soft, please. And also, they censored the word knight. So stupid. You can't name yourself knight in a game about. Knights. This looks like a boss bubble. I do not have a good method of dealing with a bunch of enemies, so I'm just gonna leave. Hmm. Are you not? Let's just get out of here. I think I want to go here. I think there's a weapon here that will suit me. Will suit me well. It's a game about souls, not knights. Come on. This is clearly medieval fantasy inspired. There's definitely knights. It's knight fun at all. <laughs> oh no. Are we going to devolve into a pun chat? Puns. It's very punny. Sliver of meat. Uh oh. It's not devolved into cannibalism now. Right, I'll see you guys later. How the heck do you pan over this all over your game? I don't know. I mean, part of it, I think, is because From Software is a Japanese company. So they don't really know. I don't think they really understand English as strong. Or as well. I, I really don't understand why you'd ban the word knight. You can't use the word knight in the old Souls games. <clears throat> Excellent job. Excellent. Stealth kill. Stealth kill, guys. Stealth kill. He never saw it coming. Spirit Spring jumping. Okay, I do remember this. You can jump with a horse. You guys tried horse riding? I do know how to ride a horse. I don't love horses because I'm not rich, but yeah, I know how to ride a horse. I'm at the gym now. Alright, see ya. Okay, let's go talk to this blind girl. I remember her. I think she dies no matter what. Hello? Is somebody there? Oh, I'm blind too. Bend your ear for a moment, please. We're My twins. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... This I is definitely an Irish accent, right? My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle. Secreted me? decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. I... I fear, fear for father's, father's life. life. The servants are, the servants are full of wrath. 
filled with hatred for every one of us. Gloria. Yeah, I'll take a letter. No problem. Thank you. Then please. I think no matter what you do here, she dies. So it's your typical soul's interaction. Dude, what if I just revealed to you guys I've been Irish this whole time? I've just been hiding my accent. I'm just like, alright guys, I think it's time to come clean about this. You know, I've been I've been thinking for a long time about the racism I would experience if I if I came out. But it's it's high time, you know, I was I was Irish. I was born in Waxford. Born and raised. I developed an American accent to avoid the persecution that we Irish have experienced for millennia. You know, even as recently as 1960, there's been treatises written asking if Irish are even human. Just because we have red hair doesn't mean we're not human. It's actually true, by the way. <laughs> it's hilarious when you read history and you'll find something from like 19... 19, like 20. Like just before World War I. <laughs> like one of the World Wars and then it's just like, are Irish even human? Like, do Irish have souls or can you kill them legally? It's, you're just allowed to. Or Irish. Wonder what the Irish did to become so thoroughly hated. Whoa! Okay. We need to find a, a side of grace. Is that, is that one up there? I see something. I was not prepared for that. Okay, I don't know what this is. Golden seed. I've got that golden seed. Hmm. Okay. And we, we really do need to find a side of grace here. Maybe there's one right next to the castle. Ah. Uh. I walked into that one. Oh, it's a giant shooting. Okay, I remember these guys. Yeah, I think they're actually easier than they look. Have you guys ever seen Castle in the Sky? These guys sort of remind me of the robots from Castle in the Sky. Which, by the way, amazing, amazing movie. I don't have any... Actually, I could probably I could probably get away with the heal. Let's go. I think for me, Studio Ghibli films, Spirit Away, number one. Can't displace it. But Castle in the Sky, I think, is the easy number two. Castle in the Sky is just it's so good. Whoa! Haven't seen that one yet? Dang. You gotta get on that. This one's guy's really good. Cool. I haven't seen the new one yet. The boy and the heron. I don't know. I just like stopped. Stopped. Whoa. <laughs> I like teleported in the guy. I kind of stopped liking Studio Ghibli films. After Ponyo, I was just like, alright, you guys. Ponyo was not good. Sorry. Giants are going to be going crazy once they figure out shin cards exist. True. For me, Arietti number one? Then Howl. I don't know Arietti. When's that one from? Is that like a recent one? Then Spirited, then Totoro. It's very specific. I like Totoro, but I don't think it, it reaches my... Do I get the maps? Does this give me the map? I think that's what those do. Uh, can't summon torrent in here for some reason. I like um, Nausicaa visually, but the plot of Nausicaa I don't care for at all in terms of like movie structure. 
I think I'm also kind of that way with Princess Mononoke. Like, I like all of the scenes with, like, the mystical stuff in Princess Mononoke. But I feel like it's it's actually kind of boring overall. Ariadne's from 2010. Interesting. Is... Kiki's Delivery Service? Is that a Studio Ghibli? Nice. Alright, we got the map. Okay, I want to say the weapon I'm looking for is like here or like here or something. So let's let's actually backtrack. I don't need to go to Castle Morin right now. Kiki's very nice as well. Yeah, I like that one. It's kind of just like a comfier, simple movie. Have you guys ever seen Redline? Not Studio Ghibli. We we're just talking about animated films. Redline is a pretty cool movie. Just by the way. Perhaps I should not have poked that. Charlie talks about it a lot, does he? Yeah, I don't I don't know what studio did Redline, but I've never I've never seen a movie probably that good again. I feel like it, it looks so good. And after I saw it, I was like, dang, can't wait for the next studio. Or for the next movie from the studio. And then <laughs> I just don't remember ever seeing it. Like I wonder what they did next. There's no way it was like as visually impressive as Redline. Otherwise, I probably would have seen it, right? It's on the watch list? No. Okay, so you gotta put, um... Tommy Galaxy. You gotta put that on the watch list. Oh, my god. Oh, wait, I'm not going... I'm not going the right way. Now I gotta go back for my runes, though. The Tatami Galaxy is so good, it's it's gonna be a new chat rule. New chat rule that you have to have seen that. I'm going to put a quiz as, uh... To enter the chat, you have to take a short quiz about Tatami Galaxy. Whether you've seen it or not. It's actually so good, and... Not enough people have seen it. Oh, there they are. Okay, we're fine. Fine, fine, fine. Um, how do I get to where I want to be? I tried watching Tatami Galaxy, but stopped. Is it because he speaks too fast? He does speak kind of fast. Sometimes you have to pause and read the subtitles. I don't even know if that one's dubbed. Okay, where's my, my horse jumping? I need to get up here somehow. Not that the description scared me. What? It's not a not a horror anime. Okay, we turn turn left here. All this life based one makes me scared. Wait, why? <laughs> uh, is it hit too close to home? Okay, let's cross here. Avoid that horrible creature. It'll make me think about life and get sad. Yeah, actually, that's kind of the point. So the, the premise of Tatami Galaxy is... This guy goes to college and he's like, How will I make the best out of my college experience? I'll join a club. And that will make me happy. And then, basically every episode is like a time reset. It's like, oh, joining that club sucked. And then it's like, it resets and it's like, What if I joined this other club? What happens? 
and then it's uh <laughs> it never never turns out right it never turns out right honestly maybe we should have a maybe we should have a discord watch party i can't stream it on youtube but i don't feel like watching it we probably get away with something like that on discord I can't reset. Yeah. It's truly the burden of people living. I just can't reset. Okay. Somewhere around here, there's going to be a good weapon that we can use. It's going to significantly speed up our progress in this game. Which has been non-existent thus far. Sacred Tear. Okay. I don't remember what that does. I should check this room. I have, I have a strong feeling about this room. Okay. Although all this is going off of hazy memory from two years ago. I'm a huge believer in escapism. Who, who isn't? <laughs> Uh, whether you whether you claim to be or not, everyone is. We're slowly devolving into sort of like not not hedonistic escapist lifestyle, but like almost the opposite of that. Where our life is our normal life is so bad that all we have is escapism. If you had the good fortune to be born as a baby boomer or whatever. You know, World War II ends. You're born into uh, an era of peace. Unlike any other era in history. The economy is exploding. You work waiting tables or something. And you get enough money to, to buy a house, have a family. You don't need escapism. Life is, is good enough. That you're just, you're getting along fine, right? It's only because we live in the world that we do, that we need escapism. And that's why... Oh my god, what was that? Woo! That's why I'm... I'm actually, like, kind of confident in YouTube as a career, because I don't think YouTube is going anywhere. We're going to need escapism for the rest of our lives. Is this guy casting? Because you know how whenever there's a new fad, they're just like, ah, oh, it's just a fad, it won't last long. Basically, since we've had video entertainment, it's only become more and more prevalent. Like, you know, television starts, people are just like, oh, this is what I do now. I watch television. Then, like, movies become very mainstream. Then slowly, internet streaming becomes mainstream. YouTube becomes extremely mainstream. TikTok. You know, et cetera, et cetera. I just don't think... I don't think escapism is going anywhere. This is just life now. This is how we cope. What can even be better than videos? Yeah, that's that's actually a good question. I've thought about that. Um, I think VR, if it was executed well, would be better than just a video, right? Like, I, I personally think gaming is better than videos. I don't. I like gaming more than watching videos. So, I think that... What if people start making immersive video experiences? So, it's your it's your standard YouTube video, right? But you're like... Somehow you're like in the video with them? I'm trying to think how it would be done. So, it's like, okay, you have a VR headset, right? And you're watching one of my videos about some obscure video game. And you just get to hang out in the room with me while I tell you a bunch of stuff. And then... Maybe even go in the game I'm talking about? Wing Scythe! This is it! This is... Okay, let's go. I actually found it. Okay, so this scales D Dex, D Faith, E Strength. And it requires 16 Strength, 16 Dex, 24 Faith. Holy. Okay, so this weapon is super good, but... It's actually going to be a while before we can use it.
Okay, um, so now our only real goal is to level up. Besides that, we don't have a specific specific thing to do. Your social relationship's gonna go to the next level. Yeah, imagine, okay, so it's, you're listening to your favorite podcast, right? With all of your favorite people, and you're in VR, and you sit down on the couch with them, and it's like, there they are. Your friend simulators, right next to you. Some Trina's Lily. Hanging out with Joe Rogan and Elon Musk. Yeah, that's what some people would use it for, undoubtedly. I don't like those guys' shields. Not mind picking one up. Let's, uh. Flame. Just kidding. It was a joke. It was a prank, guys. But yeah, if, if we continue along what I would say has been our path thus far, it kind of seems like we're going to get less and less enjoyment out of life. We're going to be seeking more and more escapism. That escapism will become more and more realistic, I guess you could say. And then... Oof, I don't know. I don't know. I think to get these things to stay still, you have to, like, hit these things? The skulls? And then it will, it will become still. These are pretty cool in terms of game design. I'd say this is, this is hot. Just can't. There we go. There we go. I forgot I can jump in this game. I can just jump and hit it. I'm so used to Dark Souls. Okay. Let's go. I'm stupid. Lightning rocks with the spear. I guess, sort of. I think they're... Skulls. Have you guys heard of that thing where apparently in China you can't depict the skulls? I've heard that you have to censor games when you make them for China and like take out the skulls. But is that true? How can how can you censor bones? I mean I don't want to say oh! Oh, is it is it dropping? Okay, I think it's I think it's sitting down. Okay. Nice. It's reverted back to its primal state. Island. I was gonna say, how can you censor a human body part? <laughs> but then I was like, okay, well. I guess we do that all the time. Remembrance duplication. You can duplicate your memory to see previously acquired. What? Duplication can only be performed once per muscle yeah? I, I don't know what this is. Alright, well. We have this in the bank. 
<laughs> Only for one minute you're giving a giant rock spider a pedicure. Yeah, these are these are pretty neat. I don't actually know what their function is. Something to do with remembrances, whatever that is. Kinda I wanna visit China someday. Because there's a lot of like natural beauty that I wanna see. Like uh you guys know those mountains where they're they're like strangely vertical. Like mountains in the US are very horizontal. They have a very gradual incline, right? There's those crazy mountains. I'm not sure where they are. Oh, there it is, the tower. Find that can return. Our home bathed in rays of gold. Chia, what you looking at, bud? Anyway, I want I want to visit this Chinese mountain someday. We gotta do it. I gotta do it before we're at war with China, which will probably inevitably happen. Sadly. I wanna try Chinese food. Do they not have Chinese food in Canada? You wanna try it from the source, huh? Authentic ones? Pretty sure you can get authentic Chinese food outside of China. I think Chinese food is one of the one of the least vegetarian friendly cuisines there is. I can probably count the number of times I've been in a Chinese restaurant like, on one hand. Like you can you can eat vegetarian there, but you're just eating broccoli. It's like ah, uh, I can I can have broccoli. Nothing against broccoli. I just don't get super excited about going out. Going out for broccoli. It's like, eh. Two really good ones near me, but different regions. Yeah. I mean, China's a huge country, so there's definitely going to be a wide variety of scenes based on region. I love broccoli and green beans. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I don't like broccoli. I do. It's a solid vegetable. Actually, it's probably like eight here in terms of nutrition. But broccoli costs like three cents to make it home. And a Chinese dish is going to be no less than $12 where I am. In fact, probably more now because I haven't been to a Chinese restaurant in quite a while. And am I super excited about paying more than $12 for broccoli? Oh, I'm going to die. I think I remember these guys. I think they're super dangerous, actually. Never mind. Each push up. What is this? Oh shit. <laughs> oh wait, I kinda remember these. The Burger King ball. No! Okay, it's, it's a mortar. It's a mortar. We gotta be under some, some other place. I'm poisoned. Oh. Elden Ring truly is the Dark Souls of Elden Ring. Oh, no. Wait for them to come down. Okay, we're safe. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. Ah! Very sad. Look at, the, look at the eyeballs on that thing. <laughs> Very sad. What's y'all's gamer drink for today? Today it's water. Cause I'm too lazy to go to the store for my Arizona iced tea, which I have been addicted to as of late. It's funny because I never drank Arizona iced tea back when it was popular, like 10 years ago when everyone was drinking the cans. I, I actually just now, just now started drinking. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> 
It will do no good, I swear it. Is she wearing a cabbage? Oh no, it's green crystals. Uh, and yet you persist. You frothing degenerates. Dude, she's kind of going through it. <laughs> this, this is kind of suspicious. Maybe, maybe turn off, turn off the Bluetooth. <laughs> what do I do? Is she, she's being held prisoner here? How do I save her? Offer rump. She's clearly being tortured. How, how can I assist her? Let's read message. Time forehead. Oh no. Do not save her. I feel like I, how do I save her? Do I have to come back with something? Do I need a key item? <laughs> she kind of likes it. Don't say that. And you know what? Uh, YouTube recommended me the other. What? The... God damn! He recommended me the other day. <laughs> I think it was this girl just talking about how attractive Ghost from Call of Duty is for like 40 minutes. And I, I learned a lot. Apparently, there's this thing called a mask kink. She claimed it was quite normal for women to have. But <laughs> the claim was his ghost is this weird, like, masculine figure, and, like, you never see his face. And it, apparently, <laughs> apparently that's, that's pretty popular among the women. Now here, I thought ghost was cool to 12-year-old boys, because he's, you know, he's ghost. Little did I know he had another demographic of popularity. Well, there's been an age talking about it. I love this guy's mask. Intern, festering bloody finger. Okay. Ease. Have a safe Sorry, actually. I'm only leveling up. But yeah, mask kink. That's a good one to find out for me. Maybe I have, um... There's a possibility I have some extra buying power among the female demographic. Like, hey, ladies. I wear a mask. This is really popular in the Yowie community. <laughs> who who are they shipping him with? I assume someone else from Call of Duty. Dude, this this beach is actually very comfy. I like this a lot. See, I feel like to the untrained eye, you would say this beach is ugly. This this beach is quite beautiful, calm, serene. Beaches are places of transition. They're they're liminal in and of themselves. It's soap. <laughs> you good old soap McTavish. Soap and ghost. The perfect combo. It's so funny. These things have a lot of HP. Yeah, this this video I watched, 40 minutes about how, how attractive Ghost from Call of Duty is, is very enlightening. I felt like it gave me perspective on the insights of modern generation of women. You know, I guess for every for every boy playing Call of Duty, there's probably Probably one one quarter, one eighth of a girl. Just statistically. Do you remember when Call of Duty was like the most popular game in the world? It's kind of crazy how how things have changed. So now it's like people barely care about COD. Like there was a study recently. I think Asmund Gold made a video about it, about how I think 80% of the playtime from games this year are from games that are like five years old. You know, people are just playing like Roblox, Fortnite, uh, Overwatch, League of Legends. You know, all these live 
sort of like service. What do they call it? Games as a service games. And part of me is like, okay, yeah, modern games suck. Like, of course they're they're playing older games, but then <laughs> I don't really like the games they're playing that much either. So it's it's kind of just sad all the way around. Because it's like 80% of my gameplay is old games. I don't, I don't care about modern games at all, really. Golden Rune. Nice. I like a ghost, I just think he's funny. How pronounce his eyes are. I mean, ghost is definitely supposed to appeal to the, the 12 year old. You know, too edgy for you. Call of Duty is the coolest thing they've ever seen. I think he does well. He does well for that. <clears throat> Chad, what are your kinks? We know Doom's like, no, I just wear masks. I wasn't even aware about the mask kink until recently. Although, if you think about it, it makes sense. Because remember during, during the global pandemic, people were saying they got like an attractiveness boost from wearing a mask. Because I think it's, it's kind of hard to be unattractive in the eye area. Like, generally, I feel like it's, like, you can't really, you know, that's not going to be a deal breaker. Your eyes are not going to be a deal breaker. So obscuring the rest of your face makes you mysterious, right? And people will just imagine. They're like, oh, I'm sure they're attractive under that mask. And then when it was all over, people were like, dang. People don't treat me as nice now that I don't wear a mask anymore. It's like, oh, that's rough, buddy. Turns out you were ugly. <clears throat> Whew. Internet rule 49, if it exists, it's someone's fetish. Is that really rule 49? For sure, I only know rule 34. <laughs> Not gonna lie, masked YouTubers faceless have more female fans. Like Dream and Corpse Husband? YouTubers technically. Really? Is that like a, a noticed feature? Or trend? Like, I, I knew about Dream. Obviously, I thought he was just, you know, just a bunch of 12 year old girls playing Minecraft, so he's popular. And then Corpse was kind of easier because he, he had like the whole anime persona and he had a super D voice. <clears throat> so that that's like kind of easy to understand. VTubers, I don't, I don't really understand. No, wait, that's a trap. Yeah, those, those ghost traps. Should I just take it? Where will it teleport me? Where of trap? Okay. You know, YOLO. YOLO. What's the worst that could happen? Personally, I like women who love me, but actively try and kill me, you know? Are you talking about the fucking Spike Spiegel? Dude, look, we went somewhere cool. Oh. We're, we're far from home. Solo, you don't want that, trust me. <laughs> Dude, sounds like you're speaking from experience, Cosmicus. Should I become a masked YouTuber? Yeah, it's, uh, it's good. Lost Grace Discovered. Trust me, I did research with science. I believe you, Alias. You're, you're a, you have a degree in science. I, I, I assume all of your methods are utterly scientific. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Well, that giant was quite a bit stronger than the last... The last one. <laughs> He's my favorite VTuber. Yeah, I guess I, I sort of am on the... Right on the verge of being a VTuber. I think a lot of people still mistake me for one. They think I just have, like, a really complex 3D model. Little do they know, I am terrible at Blender. I never could have done that. Let alone try to render the cloth physics. Okay. 
This thing has borderline infinite HP. I, I don't think we're actually going to. Yeah, it's not happening. It is not happening, please. <laughs> okay, let's, let's move. Um, I'm assuming I can just fast travel over there. Crap. Let's get back on track. Let's get back onto the main track. We gotta go fight Margot. Or Margot. Or Margot. I don't remember his name. <clears throat> Real ones using state of the art face cam IRL graphics. Wave VTubers. Oh. Did you put up a poll to see how much chatter female? <laughs> there are no girls on the internet. That's, that's a long standing rule. Getting cooked. Getting cooked. Ten percent of the internet is female. I would say two percent. I think they're all on. Uh, they're all on Insta or TikTok. Maybe I don't actually know what TikTok's breakdown is. I think I read once that YouTube's like sixty forty males females, which is kind of interesting to me because you would think with video. Video's kind of like, why would that pull in one direction or the other? But I, I think Insta is actually heavily female for some reason. It might be closer to 60, 60 or 70, 30. I remember TikTok. Cerulean Tears. Start this guy's legs. Oh. Okay. Okay. Go. oh, I hate these guys with the arrows. So annoying. Posture check. Posture check. Go to the eclipse area, Kaled. I don't want to go to Kaled. I never want to go to Kaled. It's so weird how you can just like walk into Kaled at the beginning of the game, and it's it's like you really never want to be in Kaled. Feels like a super late game area. You can just like walk into. I get the giant to kill any of these guys. They freaking, they're gonna one v one me. These guys are such cowards. Okay, I think the giant actually. Well. <laughs> also, just found this out. May thirty first was the date of your first stream of BF three. Really? Dang. A31st. That's a nice little tidbit. I remember I had, uh... I'd played the point seven and I made, like, a video about it. I think it was the second video I ever put on the channel. And then when the next version came out, the, uh, the abandoned. I was like, alright. I can stream it. I can do this. I think that was my first stream ever. And people showed up. 
right away. It was very surprising. But I didn't I didn't have to stream to zero people ever. Which man. Count your lucky stars for that one, Doom. Guess how I made my name? Did you see a solar eclipse? <clears throat> Do you have any of tips for getting more subs? Sadly, no. If I had the juicy tips, I would I would have more subs. I'm kind of struggling right now because the videos I want to make are about obscure topics, right? Sort of like niche games. But they get no views. So I think I'm going so obscure that like virtually no one knows and they like don't even click. So I think I just have to make videos about more popular stuff until I get more subs. And then when I have like more of a loyal fan base that'll click on the videos about obscure things, then I can make them. But I've been having bad luck choosing topics recently. These guys are so annoying! Ah. Ride the controversy? True. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I was going to do an announcement. I have decided that on the second channel, I'm, I'm not afraid of uploading like slop, like low effort content. And since you guys have been asking for reaction streams for forever, I decided that we can do, we can do a reaction stream and I can post it on the second channel. So I will be making a a channel in the Discord where you can put stuff for me to react to. Although, I don't know if we want to have a theme? Do we want there to be a theme for the first one? Like, should it just be, like, funny? Or cringe? Or scary? I don't know. I'm, I'm willing I'm willing to hear some, some opinions. If you were going to see React con content, which I struggle to call it content, because it's like so, so low effort. What would it be? Jeez. Oh How many souls does this giant give me? Is this even going to be worth it in the end? Anything special planned for when your one-year streaming anniversary comes around? Um, no, maybe we should do something special. Maybe I should arrange something. May 31st, that's that's coming up. It's like reasonably close. Channel anniversary? Um, I think my first video uploaded like January 31st. So we already passed it. It's been one year now. send you long ass video essays? No. Can't react to a long video essay. It has, it has to be reactable stuff. Where am I? Where am I? Where are my runes? Where are my runes are? Keep forgetting the button to pick him up is why. Alright, okay, okay. We're actually doing okay. I have 10 subs, 5 are my cousins, 2 are my friends. That's how you gotta start, I guess. Woo! I think probably my first 20 subs were all to my friends. I was like, hey, I made a video on YouTube, you should go watch it and then subscribe to me. And then tell me how to get better. It's Joker. <laughs> that is Joker. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Took a big hit, but it's fine. This is a decent start. I think everyone that is ranged is dead. So now it's just me and the big man. Okay. This is where we want to be. 61 damage spear attack. It's very juicy. Let's drink those tears. Those tears. Okay. He's jumping. Let's go. Let's 
go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm sipping. I'm sipping. I don't know who he was trying to hit there. Not me, clearly. Oh, does splash damage. Careful. Oh, missed. Okay, just spear now. He's in a really annoying position. Oh my god, bro, just, just die already. I don't know what's happening. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, screw this. I'm not doing this. There's no reason to fight this guy. <sighs> I'll just go try to hit level 5 naked, man. Alright, I give up. We're just calling Torrent. We're just calling Torrent. Screw this. I didn't send my friends for this because it's very cringy for me personally. Come on, you gotta believe in yourself. What flavor do you think the blue tears are? I think blue raspberry. Huh. That's a good question, actually. He's calling for friends. He's calling for backup. I was trying to hit Casper. <laughs> sure. Okay, what are these things? Golden Seed. I feel like this is an important item. Cerulean Tears taste fairly savory. Faintly savory. Uh, I think... What the hell? Ghost Wolves just come out of nowhere. Have you guys ever had Turkish Delight? I don't know if it's bougie. Have Turkish delight. It's kind of rare, but I kind of imagine Estes Flask to taste like rose flavored Turkish delight. Which maybe, maybe that's just rose flavored, but but that was that was my imagination. Or Sunny D, you know, you just Sunny D. Stupid wolves! <laughs> we drink. We drink. It's like sea salt ice cream. Oh, that sea salt ice cream is so good. Okay. Who would have thought that by adding salt to something you could get a sweeter product? Okay. Wolves are weak to from Dragon's Dog. Hate those? Me and my homies hate Turkish lights, dude. Really? I feel like Turkish lights are actually kind of based. You want to give me video suggestions? I wish I could. Uh, wish I could help you out. So I'll tell you guys my next two videos coming down the pipeline, probably. Uh, oh hey, it's a girl. Everyone's been grafted. Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought. <laughs> Only to have their own. Bummer, man. Did you know? It's quite a Bummer, man. You're all on what your own, for you? you? And heading to enticed by the one in the white. Well, that makes... But I don't have... It's scam. I want it's on It's fine, it's fine. I'll help you out. I'll help you. Oh, I know. Can you take this... I'm a big, strong the prophet. The thing deserves someone. And it'll be glad of your... Oh, yeah. Spirit summons. It's actually fun. It was a pleasure to... Oh. Can you pass hell them I love from finally getting the hang of Okay. It was a pleasure to oh. We're passing on a, pass message. on a message. You see the little man. chrysalids in the Stormbell Castle. Them. Tell them I love them. And that despite my craven heart. I'll be joining the club the soon enough. Jeez, this girl's depressing. Bit of an emo girl. <laughs> How a bummer, man. <laughs> I think SS Flask would have no flavor, but feel heavily carbonated on your tongue. Dude, I'm actually low-key addicted to carbonation. Like, I, I like tea and such drinks, but... 
always come back to that craving. I'm on a treadmill right now. <laughs> Dude, one of my friends, he has a pretty, pretty base setup where he, he's on the treadmill and he watches One Piece. And as One Piece fans know, there's like probably more than a thousand, thousand episodes of One Piece. So he's got some ammo. He's got some ammo. I don't want to fight this guy. But that's a that's an okay way to while away minutes on the treadmill. Just watching the one piece. <clears throat> you tried mixing icy with sparkling water? I have not. Could be done, I guess. Not a bad idea. I did it. With a whetstone knife, you can at, you can use Ash's board to grant your armament's new skills. Wow. An armament may only have one skill. Any skill it has to be Oh, yeah. Okay, I can remember this. Adding affinities. You can use Ash's board to grant affinities to your arm armaments and sites of grace. This way, you can alter armament's stacked affinity boost attributes. Okay. Wow. Strikes. <laughs> So adding sparkling water to iced tea makes it good. endless sweet. I don't know if I want more sweet. Okay. okay, Elden Ring. Elden Ring truly is the Dark Souls of Elden Ring. Let's take a mark. <clears throat> What's your guys' favorite, like, obscure food that you don't think a lot of other people know about or enjoy? For me, I live in an area where we have, like, uh, we have two big populations. We have big Korean population and big El Salvadoran population. And El Salvador has this, this food called a pusa. It is very good. Kachapuri. Search it up right now. <laughs> what is Kachapuri? Okay, I'll search it. I'm curious. Kacha. Wait, my controller's vibrating. Am I dying? Hello? <laughs> I am dying, god damn it. <laughs> Whatever. We got to the side of Grace, it's fine. Oh! Dude, this is a cheese boat. I had these the other day when I went up to see my friend in New York. We went to this restaurant called Cheese Boat. And we had this. It was actually fantastic. I think the one we had... We had one that was like honey and brie. And I think we had another one that was like more savory. But the honey and brie one was one of the best things I've ever had. And then we also had some like... I think Georgian prepared vegetables. They were very good. It's very good. I'd never had Georgian food before, so that was first. Go back to the trap chest area and kill the golem. Use a blunt weapon and only do heavy strikes to the legs, then do a repost. Trap area. Are you talking about when we took the trap to that one area with the super strong giant? Nowhere near our requirements still. We need so many souls. There's no way I can fight Margaret. What should I do in the meantime? Let's go here. Or... Let's go here, actually. And then we'll go south here and farm some souls. <clears throat> That's my favorite food of all time. I didn't know they were called kachapuri. They just called them cheese buns. But maybe they know that. Americans just aren't cultured. I can eat a food called ketchup. <laughs> we'll eat a food called cheese <laughs> uh, Switch over my new gaming phone. Alright, got gigantic bats. That's a
yo, this one time I went to this bougie restaurant. It's a good story. What's that jump pad for? It looks very enticing. How do I get there? What is the purpose of it? I mean, I'm intrigued. My curiosity has been piqued. Chocolate covered crickets ain't half bad. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you understood the assignment? That was uh, that's an obscure food, but I'm not. I'm not going to. There's no way in hell. I'm not eating an insect. At least get the medallion at the chest. Oh, there's a medallion there. Add avocado carpaccio. Where's carpaccio? Where's back? Yeah, this looks. Let's go. Yo, that's cinematic. What am I? What, what, where, where, where is it taking me? What was that? Was I supposed to steer myself somewhere? <laughs> what? I don't understand. Right, give, give my souls back. That was, that was a rip off. Oh, you're complaining about eating insects? I'm eating literal food? You have that disease where you... Brave animals. Oh! No! My runes! Okay, I can save this, I can save this, I can save this. No! Oh. I was for sure I was gonna die from that. Okay. So you just use this one to get to this one. To get up. There's nothing else to it. I thought it was some secret area. Don't eat the road cars drive on that. Italian, unsurprisingly. Carapaccio, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I have a complicated relationship with avocado. I feel like avocado is good in other forms. I don't like just like straight avocado on toast or whatever. For me, it has to be it has to be like guacamole. And I know someone's just gonna say guacamole just smashed avocado, but that's that's not all there is to it. I'm an expert at making guacamole. It has some real artistry. Artistry number one, for the biggest tip for avocado, is you have to know when it's ripe. This is a problem. I'm not going to call it any specific group of people, but Americans. <laughs> when it comes to eating tropical fruits, they don't really know how to do it. I saw some... <laughs> I saw this guy just start peeling a mango, like with a like an apple peeler. I was like, bro, <laughs> bro... <laughs> That's not how you do it. What's up, Dad? You got a cozy little, cozy little nook here. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Any trouble. Well done. Also, well, I see people eating bananas when they're they're green. If your banana is crunchy, you should not be eating it. It's just disturbing. Cheeseless pizza is amazing. What? What, what's on the pizza then? Describe that to me. Oh no. Drew your profile picture. Yes. Me too, actually. Probably time for me to change my profile picture, honestly. It's been a while since I was using the 2D Doom Prophet. We're in the 3D era now. Normal. Normal pizza, but no cheese. So it's just it's bread with tomato sauce? It doesn't sound that good. I think I would only do that if I was severely lactose intolerant. And maybe not even. It would, it would have to be severe. Even if I was lactose intolerant a little bit, I would still have cheese pizza. That's just... I don't know. 
can't make that compromise. I cannot make that compromise. I like my bananas kind of green. The Peter compliments the sweet. No. Oh, look at this turtle. Or I guess this would be a tortoise, actually. It's okay, tortoise. Take your time. We've got all day. Can I ride him? Oh, it's a ripoff. Strongly feel as if you should be able to ride him. Hog. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. Really big on food texture. Yeah, I've, I've met people like that. Funnily enough, they say they can't eat bananas because of the texture. I wonder if that's like something common. I thought there was a cave around here. What's this? What's this? I love Ethiopian food. I've heard Ethiopian food is really good. I've also never had the opportunity to have it. I've also heard it's, it's very vegetarian. For me, I think the best cuisine in terms of nationality for vegetarians is... Indian food. So I'm pretty sure like half of India is vegetarian for religious reasons. So naturally the cuisine has developed to be very vegetarian. Maybe I have to have spell or something? Maybe it has to be night. Yeah, that, that would have been a hit. It's like hitting one. <laughs> Texture means nothing to me. I inhale food. <laughs> it's almost like Indian. Where's the key? I'm pretty sure I remember there being a cave boss that maybe we can use to get some souls. So that's where we're in most, in most need of right now is just the souls. Oh, it's an enemy. I thought it was like an NPC. <laughs> or like a, a guy you can talk to. What the hell? This guy looks like a... He's wearing like cool armor. That destroyed kid. Sit down. Sit down. You can actually teabag in this one. Strip of white flesh. Huh. Well... Um, okay, there's definitely some dungeons, like, along this wall, so let's, let's go there, let's go there. I tried some niche Senegalese food, wow. I don't think I can point to Senegal on a map. <laughs> Geometry quiz time! Said pizza without cheese. I'm not weird. I just don't like cheese. That concept is uh, I'm just not not familiar with that concept. Cheese is unironically one of my favorite substances. It's better than it's better than, uh, it's better than crack. It's better than just other addictive substances. Taco Bell nacho cheese in particular must be addictive. Smithing stone. You think if I use my my summon here, my jellyfish summon, something happen? Oh. 
Oh, I, I didn't have my catch flame on my, my hand. Okay. Stupid. Let's equip. Let's do something well here. Oh, I can't summon a jellyfish here. Turkish style yogurt and eggs with crispy bread. I'm a fan of Turkish food. It's pretty good. Turkish yogurt is very good. That's more of the kind of yogurt I like. Whoa. Red jellyfish. That's got a high value. Oh! Yeah, I like really tart. I like really tart yogurt. I don't think jellyfish spit ink. That is a exclusively a squid. That's good. A trait. Are these stupid caves? Huh. Can you use it as your new profile picture? No, I would, I would always make my profile picture. That's, that's that's channel branding, man. You gotta have that. You gotta have that be yours. <laughs> you can't use someone else's art for you. Channel profile picture. I guess maybe you can it. Like factory cheese? <laughs> what is factory cheese? Are you talking like super ultra processed American cheese? Where are these stupid caves? Look at the map when you're on torrent. Wait, why? Oh, is there enemies around or something? Why can't I look at the map? There we go. Okay, actually, I think the caves are here. I was mistaken. Right. Full HP. You like cheese? So I think cheese is sort of an expensive food, right? Because it's best enjoyed if you have a lot of money, right? It's cheap cheese is significantly worse than like expensive cheese. So th that's kind of true. It's one of those things where it scales directly with price. And I think it's, it's it's not an option for some people. Like a, a nice Parmesan. Super pricey, although pretty worth it. Some nice Parmigiano Reggio. Please don't die. Please don't die. God damn it. How did that one kill me? Oh. Yeah, nice Parmigiano, Parmigiano Reggiano, a nice Pecorino Romano. Pecorino Romano. Oh my god. It has to be one of the greatest treats that life has to offer. From the humble sheep. Thank you, sheep. Everyone type thank you, sheep, in chat. Trust me, in a single person household, you can get a decent size for $8. It's just how you buy it. I mean, I'm not saying it's completely unavailable, but it is, it's probably more expensive. It really makes sense to, to purchase it out. We're in, a, we're in an economic crunch, so people are definitely thinking about that. They're like, man, do I really need to buy some nice Parmesan? Okay, where is this barn cave? I need to fight a boss. I need souls. Here we go. Here we go. This is something. This sure is something. <clears throat> okay. Do 
No one typed thank you sheep? You guys are disrespectful to the humble sheep. The humble, but noble sheep. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Gotta fill up my, my magic bar. Proper death means returning to the herd tree. Have patience until the time comes and the woods call to you. Okay. Thank you, sheep. Okay, there, finally. Yes. How about these guys? Wow. I don't do very much damage to these at all. Let's try it. Let's try catch flame. I love you, sheep, and appreciate you, sheep. Okay, thank goodness the sheep are getting the respect they deserve. You know the humble cow, humble cow too, gives its life for you. It gives its milk for you. It gives its eggs for you. Oh wait, that's that's chickens. So you get the point, though. You know the humble the humble cow. It's doing a lot of work for you. Swimming pool is now functional. What does that mean? I mean, I can summon people here now? Maybe I should. I don't do very much damage if this is going to be a boss. Hmm? God damn it. That was going to be such a, such a nice combo. We got we to gotta heal up. Feeling pretty under the weather. Hmm. Aren't these dungeons like full of secret areas? I don't remember this from the first playthrough. Two years ago, or whatever. Wait, it took them two years to come up with a DLC? Is that true? This game came out in 2022, right? From Software's just been sleeping. Oh. I don't have anything. Okay, heal, please. Oh, easy. But like, actually, what has From Software been doing? They better release like a new game, like a year after DLC comes out. Yeah, I'm leaving. It's all a joke. It's all a joke. Oh, god damn. Catch flame. Damn it. Ah! Can you check check out after stream user profile? No, no. I'm never gonna use someone else's thing for my profile picture. It has to be has to be something I made. Like I just uh I wanna be creatively attached to it, you know. Because basically everything on my channel I made myself, despite lacking the digital art skills. And in doing so, it's full of soul. I mean, I guess I understand if you have like zero artistic talent, you can hire someone to make your channel profile or whatever. But I feel like it's it's just a, a great way to express a little, a little bit of personality. Like me, I suck at heart. Did you make your profile picture? I can't I can't tell what people's profile pictures are. You guys don't know how small they are. They're like three by three pixels on my screen. I can get general color. And besides that, 
not really anything else. So this is why I need, I need a third monitor, guys. It needs to be vertical, perfectly oriented for chat, right? And then I'll be able to see everything in at least a little bit more detail. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not high enough level to do this dungeon, but I'm not. <laughs> ah! Look at a conundrum. Do you see mine? I mean, I see that it's it's vaguely black with like two dots in it. And I've seen it bigger, so I know that it's like a, it's a profile or it's like a, a face. But I can't tell what like ecliptic solars or the megas are because I think they have more detail. I just see like orange purple it's kind of like vague colors can we just fight the boss do i have to do anything you locked okay Ugh. come fight me by these guys. On a scale of 1 to 10, how cool is my name? It's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of eclipses and solar phenomenon and, you know, general astrological phenomena, the moon and such. Did anyone experience totality in the eclipse? I think I'm actually going to travel to the next eclipse and I'm going to see the totality passing over a large swath of Europe in uh, 2026. It's going to go over like Spain, Italy, France. So I think I'm going to I'm going to do a thing where I travel to see the eclipse. So it'll be like a European vacation, so that'll be kind of fun. And then I'll experience the totality. Side of me. <clears throat> I witnessed it with my eyes. Nice. Wait, they had the totality in Canada? Yeah, because it went up it went up over me. I guess that's like right next to Canada. I should have gone to Maine. Because I haven't been to Maine yet. I've always wanted to go. Let's see the totality. Really? So you can get rid of these by attacking. I wonder if you can fire an arrow. I am going to have dexterity in my build, so maybe I'll be able to fire an arrow to stop these things. No! Ooh. Ooh. That was scary. City had really clear weather as well. Less than two minutes. I thought it was supposed to last six minutes. Okay, maybe I just press R1. Just press R1 harder. That's the key. Um, so that's where it came from. There's one waiting around the corner here. the other corner, but he was still waiting there. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. no, no. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Still. Still fine. Not where I want to be, but it's, it's okay. I didn't see it. It was hiding in the darkness. Oh, I'm getting pranked. 
I see the hearts going in chat. I appreciate it, but my heart is broken. Ursul's, I mean, Elden Ring has crushed me. I truly squeezed my heart out of existence. You know what I'll have to do? I'll just have to get Taco Bell. Maybe, maybe I can summon someone. Please take pity on me. I don't remember how summons work. Probably have to use some sort of item to become human, right? Let's see. I don't think I have any. Whatever whatever it is. I don't have any equivalent of humanity. Okay, speed run, speed run, speed run. Oh, it remains down. That's so cool. I'm gonna turn it off since I know now that it remains very handy. Oh, hey there. Oh, hey there. Die. Also die. Catch a flame. There's a. No, God, are you kidding me? There's four right there? Uh, get thee gone, wastrel. Get thee to a nunnery. Okay. Oh, you guys never answered my question earlier. What theme do you think would be best for the first reaction video? Would it just be like funny stuff? Cringe? I would say cringe is a category of its own. Sort of evolved, or it could be could be horror stuff. It seems reactable to horror stuff. In general, I'd say. Just here. This is one. Another, another one? <laughs> ah! See ya, I'm gonna go to sleep. All right, see you later, King Knight. I'd say cringe. Okay, that's a good one. I'm immune to cringe. That's my superpower. So that would be a very easy one for me to do. Although, potentially not what people want to see in terms of reaction. I would watch random news reacts? News? Is that a genre? I'm sending all those hundreds of emojis and I'm bored. <laughs> Pretty bored. Let's let's do this one first. Jump and get this. So where where did that other one? Did it, like, follow me from some other area in the cave? Oh, no, no, it's right there on the wall. That's just... Uh, it's a load of barnacles. Yeah, here. No! Yeah, we can recover. We can recover. Stab. Catch flame. All right, we finally did it after like six tries. So so stupid. Okay, what was the point of that? It really wasn't. I guess we just got a pitiful amount of runes. Eating one by one required a head. I'm kidding. Heads up there. Easy? I don't know. I don't know. 
<laughs> Kenshin's like for faster players? Not Roroni Kenshin, right? That's an old anime. It's like a, like a 90s anime. Offense is the best defense? Question mark. Okay, okay. Whew. You barely lived out of this one. Tell me number one through five. I'm gonna have to go with three. You know, if three's good enough for Tesla, it's good enough for me. You know what I'm saying? My main boy, Nicholas Tesla. Nikolai. Tricky Nick. He likes three. So try to use heal instead of catch flame. No! <laughs> I hate this game. I hate this game. Tesla and me have the same birthday? Wait, when is Tesla born? That's a pretty fortunate birthday. It's not bad. I think? I'm not sure if this is true. But a lady told me once I have the same birthday as Richard Nixon. Good old Tricky Dick himself. The man, the myth, the legend. It's a bit of a character, a little larger than life. <laughs> Same birthday as my country's independent day. That's pretty lucky. You get a big celebration. For free. It's a free birthday party right there. to buckle my shoe. Catch, catch flame is just what I use now. So close to activating the mechanism to fight boss. God damn it. That's so it's, it's, it's important. the crank that I need to pull or whatever to activate this stupid boss door. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Try jumping. It's not down there, is it? It has to be. Where else could it be? So stupid. Pretty sure there's a Oh, here it is. It is. Thank God. Please. Let me fight the boss. Let me get some souls. Use a weapon that's not... Not stupid spear. We did it. Okay. 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 Let's replenish our health. Catch a level. And then we'll be out of here. Actually, might be time for me to go to Taco Bell. I feel like it's I feel like it's high time for me to get some some yummy treats. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll try this boss. I'll try this boss one time. One time. And if I fail, the stream's over. I'm going to Taco Bell. I'm pretty sure it's the stupid cat. Or the cat statue, perhaps. Yep. Bird tree burial watchdog. In what way is that a dog? That is a cat. Oh! This is feasible. This is feasible. Let's 
kind of abrupt. Space, drink the, drink the yummy tears, elf tears. <laughs> oh, it has. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. This is like two more hits, two more hits. It's so doable. Let's go! First try! Noble Sorcerer's Ashes. Please give me some souls. 1300? I have been scammed. I have been scammed. <laughs> uh, cat hitting us with the sword? Yeah. After dying so many times, you're getting good, dude. What's up, Lucy? Yeah, I saw you in Nairobi stream today. We're just hanging out. Hanging out on multiple different streams. Okay. Um I think that's it. I think that's it. I think uh I think the stream's over. I think I'm going to go to Taco Bell. I think it's just that time of night. It's just uh that's how it, that's how it, is. That's how it is. What are you guys doing? You're not going to Taco Bell? Not having as good a night as I am. Sorry. It is. And we have to make sure to quit. Elden Ring properly, or it will become angry at us and claim that we did not shut down properly last time. <laughs> Just this once, all obliged by the rules. Let me get the outro music going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna start becoming a real streamer. You gotta have the outro music. Put up the good graphic. Oh, oh, posture. Osher was a problem this stream, guys. I'm feeling... I'm feeling it in my shoulders. Oh! Oh! Enjoy life and catch up on the mangas. Yeah, have you read Freerin yet? I don't know how to say it. Freerin? Freerin? That, uh... That manga is full of feelings. Full of feelings. Do I use community post? Alright, I'll check it out. I haven't read a manga in a while, so I've been having a lot reading them. Just taking it slow. Not speed reading the ones. Can you check out my art? I gave an attempt. Nice. Did you post in the Discord? Yeah, I'll check out I'll check out everyone's art. Also, I guess shortly after this, I will make a channel on the Discord for specifically suggestions for reacting. Uh and then I'll I guess I can't. I can't watch them. Otherwise, it'll spoil it. So I'll, I'll have to like save them. I like won't even look at the channel until I have like a good amount of submissions, I guess. And then we'll do it. I guess that's how we'll do it. Maybe Alias will just be in charge of that. Sorry, Alias. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, th I think that's how we'll do that. We may have to group it by category. I'll try to figure out if there's a way we can tag stuff. So yeah, that's the plan for that. I'll probably make that link later today. Uh, do a four of the things. Uh, okay. Well, I think it's all for now, chat. Thanks for hanging out as always. I appreciate the viewership. I will be uh be posting much more more slop type content while I try to figure out how to get people to click on the main channel. So we'll have some fun community driven stuff. Like I said, the reaction streams. I'm just gonna make more random videos on that channel. I just feel much more or much less constrained. Um let's see what else. I think that's it. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Doom profit out for now. Thanks for tuning